This is what remains of Muzizi Bridge that connects Chibare to Chenjojo district after heavy rains washed it away a week ago. School children can no longer attend classes. Patients and pregnant mothers in neighboring Kenjojo are stranded and cannot access Kagado Hospital in Chibare. When NTV said the damaged bridge at the weekend, we found that many travelers had to part with 5,000 shillings to cross the river on the risky canoes. Those without the money remain stranded. Now the works ministry is promising to erect a temporary bridge here. And that work is now has started is going on. By tomorrow, we shall be knowing whether this can hold a temporary bridge or not. If we find that it can hold a temporary bridge, then the temporary bridge will be fixed within one week. Biabagambi visited the site to assess the extent of the damage. He advises Kibale and the change of your residents against risking their lives to cross by canoe without lifesaver jackets. As you saw that water, more or less boiling, moving at a high speed. And you saw some turbulences. By using canoes, it is very, very, very risky. The restoration of the bridge will cost over 1 billion shillings. The minister says the new bridge will have a lifespan of 100 years. <laughs> Heavy rains have damaged roads in other parts of the country, like Karamoja, Butareja, Isinjiro, and Toroko districts. We are assessing the whole situation to see what bridges, crossings have been washed away, so that as soon as the rains stop, we go immediately to work on those, on, on, on those bridges and culverts. Government is considering budgetary allocations to address some of these disasters. Jingo Francis, NTV Tonight.